Hello YouTube, it has been a long time since I've made a video, um, but you guys know if you've been following along on Instagram, this year has been pretty challenging for us, just not being in our ho own home, feeling a little bit displaced and sort of just like in limbo, um, just because, I mean, we're <laughs> crammed into my parents' house. Um, we were supposed to be in our house in... I think initially it was August and then it got pushed to late fall and then it got pushed to Thanksgiving and then it got pushed to December and now we're looking at end of January. Um, should not get pushed further from there. We've already locked in our mortgage and all of that but we're almost there which is really exciting and I wanted to make this video because just to kind of give you guys an update on what we what's been going on, what we've been going through, um, and I was not even going to talk about it or share about it publicly at all, um, and I probably still won't post this to Instagram just because I tend to get very overwhelmed with the DMs and the comments and all that. Um, so I thought YouTube would be a good outlet to kind of just share a more real and raw and longer form video with you to give you an update and then we can start to move forward. And I say move forward instead of moving on. I saw some quote, I forget what it was yesterday, on Pinterest or Instagram somewhere and it's, it basically said don't think about moving on, think about moving forward because you're not forgetting what has happened to you, it's a part of you and you can still choose to move forward with it. Today is January 2nd and earlier, or I should say later last year in August, the last day of August, we had our first miscarriage. So. Quick little backstory: We conceived Kai back in 2018, and Kai is my two-year-old son. If you're totally new here and just somehow fell on my video, I'm Alessandra. I probably should have said that, but um, we conceived Kai in 2018 on our first month of trying, and didn't really have any complications or issues or any of that. And we Kai is now two and a half and we experienced our first miscarriage in august on august 30th of last year um we it was our first month trying we got pregnant again on the first month so i was just kind of hopeful that it would all be exactly how it went the first time um but it did was not the case obviously so i was just about six weeks and that was really hard on us after everything we've been through this year. We also lost our family dog, my parents' dog. Um, it has obviously been challenging all living under one roof with the pandemic and Kai and it's just been hard. So <clears throat> that was really hard on us, but we pushed forward. I decided after that happened we weren't going to try again. Um, for a while like I didn't want to try again right away which just was not ready so I've spent the last few months just working on me going to the gym focusing on just doing what I can to stay positive and healthy and happy and it's been great this past month in December I felt ready to start trying again and we were able to get pregnant again on this again first month of trying um but of course after loss you experience all the emotions right i was obviously super excited um but also very scared and you know you get the positive pregnancy test and think about everything that happened the last time so despite feeling a little bit anxious I was still very hopeful um, and I wasn't even really convinced that I was pregnant right away um, I for sure thought that it was gonna take time and that I wasn't and I was one day past when I was supposed to get my period 
And that night I had a dream with my papa in it who we lost back in 2017. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a test. So I took it and of course it said yes. So I'm like freaking out. I told Josh right away, didn't film any of anything this time. It was just like a happy moment between us. We went for a walk that morning and we decided we were gonna keep it just between us until the first ultrasound, just because of everything that happened last time. Um, so with the loss, we told both immediate families, our parents and siblings, right away, like I, I wasn't even four weeks yet, and then that happened at six weeks. So we decided to wait this time. This was last Monday, um, so the end right after Christmas, before New Year's, and it was a great week. I was so happy, um, but unfortunately we did experience another loss. It was even earlier this time, so it was technically what they call a chemical pregnancy. So I was only like, I think I was just four weeks when we experienced experienced the loss yesterday on January 1st, which sort of felt like a low blow in a way. Like I wanted to start this year fresh, um, but yeah. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm still very hopeful and as upsetting as it is, um, I'm just trying to figure out our next step. So the other thing that is like going through my mind is we had tested positive for COVID this weekend. So I don't know if that impacted implantation. My body maybe was like, hold up, this is not a safe zone. But I wanted to address it because like last time, I it's not something I necessarily want to just skip over um, because I know it's not talked about enough and I know in me sharing last time it helped a lot of other women who maybe had to suffer in silence or felt really isolated and um, at the same time I don't want to make that all that my Instagram account is about um, so I thought this was the right place to share it and if you're watching it and if you've made it this far, thank you for supporting us and for being here. Um, but that's where we're at right now. So this is obviously still very fresh. Um, it happened yesterday. Yesterday I literally just had a day, stayed in bed all day, didn't really do anything except for read. Um, but today is a new day and we're choosing to move forward and continue this journey because I know we will get our rainbow baby one day. So that's the update. Thank you for watching. I don't know how many updates there will be from here. Hopefully the next one is good news, but I needed to just kind of get this out there a little bit. So thank you. I love you guys. And I do have a full day of eating video coming up in the next video that's already filmed. So we're back to YouTube and yeah. <laughs>